As a child, I heard a, a tale, uh, one of those tales that's been passed down for many generations and turned into a children's story, but seems to have come back around. And it's uh, a tale about some time ago in some place away, and this king, his name was Midas, and this king, Midas, loved gold. And then some evil Free. wizard scientist guys came around and decided they'd give King Midas a gift. And somehow they managed to change his being into something that everything that he touched turned into gold. Now, I know there's a lot of alchemical uh, discussions about gold and monoatomic gold and whatever, but in some stories there are metaphors, and in other stories there are truths. So this poor king, Midas, he thought he had it made, because everything he touched turned to gold, and he loved gold. And the story goes, then one day he touched his daughter, whom he loved, and of course she turned into gold. And I guess King Midas realized that uh, maybe gold wasn't such a great thing after all, but that didn't make it stop. Like I said, everything he touched turned to gold. And uh, it didn't just stop there, it kept on going. So when he touched one thing, it turned to gold and, and sort of spread and touched another thing and that turned to gold and that spread and ran into another thing and so on and so on until pretty much the whole kingdom of Midas was made out of gold and the few people that remained who weren't gold yet had a hard time cleaning up because there were little bits of gold everywhere and, and the gold would make other gold and so on and so on. It seems that water made the gold grow. Humidity made the gold grow. And the gold could feed on oils, petrochemicals, organic chemicals, inorganic chemicals, brick, salts, things from the atmosphere, dust, insects, bacteria. Ah, yes. It was an interesting thing, this gold. And you know, the gold itself wasn't alone. It came with friends. <clears throat> the gold seemed to be just one part of this group of friends and they were all relying on one another very heavily and they all had a job to do and they all did it very well. Of course they were all very small and that made doing what they had to do a lot easier for them and a lot harder for the people who had to figure out what was going on but they kept on doing it. So whenever there was gold we would find this group of friends, some smaller, some larger, some different shapes and colors and different types and sizes. And they all had different jobs to do, like I said. So they went along in their little cycle, doing what they had to do, turning everything into gold and using that gold to turn things into more gold. And it was all a very pretty package. It could change from solid to liquid to gas to spore to rhizonal to polymer to and on and on and on it went this gold but you could only see it in a certain light only when those photons would interfere bounce off things and bounce onto other things and reveal somehow that things were made of gold Eventually, King Midas himself turned into gold, and that was the end of that story. <laughs>